We're going to begin with Serena Williams letting us into her private world, revealing that HBO will, dare a, will air a five-part documentary series. It's called Being Serena. It's an intimate, behind-the-scenes look at her pregnancy, motherhood, marriage, and maybe a little tennis thrown in there. The winner of 39 Grand Slams posting, I can't wait to share what I've been through the past year with all of you. My whole life has completely changed, and hey, it certainly has, and it seems for the better. Guys, Being Serena, debuting May 2nd on HBO, sounds terrific. Ooh. So inspirational, always. The Gronk, turn into the Gronk now. Rob Gronkowski already has two Super Bowl wins under his belt, but you know what, rumor has it that the football player has his sights set on a different prize. It seems the Gronk he wants that mirror ball trophy, people. You know what I'm talking about, Dancing with the Stars. The New England Patriots player wasn't just showing off his dance moves at Shaq's Funhouse event you're looking at in Miami this weekend. Wow. Um, wow. That's a shimmy. Yeah. Um, he was also reportedly telling guests that he wants to win Dancing with the Stars. According to page six, the 28-year-old tight end <laughs> It's a football position, people. He says he is the best dancer in the NFL and even includes some fancy footwork in his workout sessions. Good news for Gronk. Season 28, I don't know if you all know this, season 26, I should say, of Dancing with the Stars is the very first all-athlete edition, so he may well get the chance. What do you guys think? I say oh, got, a little girl. Girl. If he wants to. A little girl goes a long way, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or a lot of drunk. Um, so it looks like Wendy's has a beef with its rival fast food chains, McDonald's and Burger King. Yeah, they're grilling it up old school. They just released a mixtape. It's called We Beefin'. <laughs> Uh, you have to do it like that? Yeah, we beefing. We beefing. We beefing. Do we have a little of it? Mix Master Jeff in the control room. Let's listen. It's Queen Wendy up in this thing. Y'all can't be the serving them things. Y'all too chicken for this beef. I'ma leave you resting in grease. Yes. Carter, Go we Queen beef. Wendy. Boy, you know you can't come. I was so imagine Wendy's voice like this. No, you never knew the Wendy was so talented. Yeah. So it's got five it tracks. Um, <laughs> some of the lyrics I enjoyed writing up for you. Um, that they, they fry up the competition, if you will. Quote, um, you number one. Question, that's a joke. Why you ice cream machines always broke? <laughs> that is true. That little number everybody's called rest in Greece. <laughs> I mean, who, this is the greatest marketing campaign ever. You can hear these tasty jams on Spotify, Apple Music, and Google Play. Under the name again, we be beefing. <laughs> Your rapping skills are extraordinary. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Robin Roberts. <laughs> Finally, a little family fun right now. A nice right uppercut from down under. This comes from a woman in Queensland, Australia. She's golfing on her local course. She spots this guy or gal. <laughs> He's on the fifth green. Look at this. A kangaroo sparring with the pin. Sizing up the competition. A left, a right. The kangaroo raining some blows on the inanimate object. <laughs> we, we call this a TKO, which in this case stands for a technical kangaroo. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. <laughs> and on that note, yeah. I thought you'd do like this. All right. Yeah. All right. That's Thank awful. you, Lara. That's great.